airport at uh, 6 a.m. right now flight leaves at 755 for Vancouver and then I transfer from Vancouver to Anchorage Get there in the afternoon so I'm gonna go check in now see you in a bit well it's unfortunate the flights delayed by an hour and a half and it's a scheduling issue. They haven't even confirmed that it's only going to be an hour and a half. So I'm stuck in Vancouver for now, for the next four hours at least. So hopefully they get back on schedule soon. Guess we'll find something to eat. Finally made it here. It's uh, you no know, an anchorage in the airport. Just got here. It's 5:30 p.m. and uh, I think it's about a three or four hour time change. So I've been on the road since uh, 4:45 this morning a.m. I think it would be the equivalent of about 9:30 or something now. So a long trip to get here, but glad to finally be here. And ironically, on the flight we're a couple that live across the street from the house that we just sold that we, you know, we were neighbors for 21 years so pretty uh, pretty unique or <laughs> unexpected that to run into somebody I know run into somebody I know on a flight uh, on the other side of the country um, so I'm gonna go find my bags and pick them up and then go get a rental car and then I have a two or three hour drive south of here down to uh, I'm going to go on Seward, Alaska, I think. I have to check and get an address off the guys, actually, that I'm meeting. So, better get uh, get my baggage and see where my... or give the rental uh, car place a call so I can get a car picked up. REI for food and boots, because I had a boot issue. But I need to resolve by buying some boots, unfortunately. Not the smartest thing to do, get a new pair of boots to, uh, to start off a trip like this. I'm gonna be getting blisters for sure, but I don't think it'll be too bad. Alright, 7.47 p.m., 11.47 Toronto time. And I am just about to leave Anchorage to head down to Seward. To meet up with the guys uh, it says two hours and nine minutes so I better get going I put me there at almost 10 o'clock and they'll be just getting in from they're out on the water today to actually filming wildlife from a boat but I think they said they're gonna be back around 8 p.m. in Seward at their hotel wherever that is so I've got to find out where it is and try to meet up with them and watch for wildlife on the road and jump out and take photos if I see something interesting which is quite possible so here I go At a spot that was impossible to stop to show you, unfortunately. We're standing in uh, 
in a marsh with just his back and its head sticking out of the water. So, and it was far off the road. I probably could have shot something, got some kind of footage with it, but um, I would have had to stand in a not very safe spot to take that shot or take the photo or film. So, pass on that, plus the light's getting low, which well, I wouldn't care if I had lots of time, but I just, uh, like I said, I need to get to my destination tonight. I'm not going to stop for a shot like that. I'm getting tired too, that's the other reason. I just want to get where I'm going. Unless I see a boost in an easy spot to film, then I'll stop. Seward. I'm not sure where the town actually starts and stops, but the guys are here somewhere, so I'm just going to wait for Mark to get back to me and let me know where they are exactly. So I better pull over. Not sure, like I said, if this is the entire town and I'm about to leave it or not. I'm going to shut this uh, video down right now it's uh, just about 11 o'clock at night on the first day and I'm exhausted um, they're all tired as well it's been a long day for them too so I think what I'll do is introduce you to them tomorrow or in the next video or following video um, I'm just going to go and settle in right now and I'll show you around the room probably in tomorrow's video um, yeah exhausted so thanks for watching this video I really appreciate it. I hope you like this. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the series. And I look forward to seeing you back in Alaska next time. Take care.